ladies and gentlemen, and everyone above below or in between, welcome to October 7th. And we got some pretty interesting news here. We got some pretty interesting articles. I highly recommend checking out the Forbes thing over there that's on my screen. I'm going to be spending a little bit of time talking about uh, this nice little post by Renee Cyber Violator Subject Zero RG. This is his name at Subject Zero RG, whatever strange name that is. Um, I don't know if he's retweeting somebody else's stuff. Twit longer, it could be his. But, you know, he felt like posting it up here. Didn't see too much follow up there. And I don't think he has any remorse for the SJWs. Uh, so, whoever wrote this tweet longer here, it says, and I quote, the goals and modus operandi of SJWs is to treat people unequally under rule and law. A person is judged either more harshly or less according to physical traits and or political affiliation. Everyone has seen the rules online treat many of them with far easier hand than it does those that fight against them. By standing with Bar Mustafa, you'll give her even more media attention and you'll put more pressure on the system to dismiss her case. You are, in effect, granting SJWs exactly what they want. The system won't be standing for free speech when that happens. It will instead be standing for unequal treatment. The laws that allow her to be charged won't have been changed and will continue to be used against free speech. If you're fighting for free speech, then fight the law. Do not stand with Barr and enable her to get special treatment under it. Wise words. Wise words, folks. Um, I highly agree, but how on earth is anybody to know that there's a problem if nobody makes a noise about it? Uh, we've seen all kinds of SJWs or rat fins or whatever make a shit ton of noise, and sure enough, they get attention, and sure enough, they get laws changed. So if we make zero effort to make any noise, if we just advocate for this law change, advocate for this law change, nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. You're going to have to make a big noise and a big mess about it. We already got crumbs. We already got Sargon of a Cab. We already got several other key members of Gamergate just going on and on about the subject, making a big noise, bringing attention to it. I hate to break it to everybody that is in disagreement. I don't like Bar Mustafa, but you have to make some freaking noise, man. This is the freedom of speech, and I'm not going to have anybody go to jail just because they're just disgusting, terrible freaking people. You have to make some noise. You have to, you have to figure out a way to make some changes, folks. You know, I, I'm not saying this guy is 100% wrong. He may be right. He may be right. But how can you expect to change a law if nobody knows that it's unjust? If nobody knows that there's a problem? If you just, want, if you just uh, wash your hands and walk away clean, you're like... <laughs> Oh, somebody got thrown an SJW. Oh, we don't care. Let's move on. No, I'm terribly sorry, dude. You're missing the whole point. Free speech applies to all or it applies to none whatsoever. <sighs> this is the Fox Gibson signing out. Good luck to all. Have a nice day. Peace. Back to back. Thank you very much.